Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. How are you today? Hello, Jason. Hello, Brian. Hello, Carlos. Hello, Pame. Hello, Walter. Hi, good, af good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> yeah, good afternoon. <laughs> hello, Wilmer. How are you? Mm -hmm. Good evening, everyone. No oh, oh, I'm here, but I'm eating right now. Good oh, okay. Me. Enjoy your meal. Five minutes. Okay. Share Enjoy your meal. Okay. Uh, hello. Uh, good, af good afternoon. See, I was about to say good afternoon because of Pame. <laughs> uh, good evening, Carla. Good evening, uh, Wilmer. Good evening, um, everyone. All right. So thank you for being right here. I know many of you were asking for permission, so I don't know who is showing up today and who is not. So, but we will see. We will see. Okay. So welcome, Carla Jovel. Welcome, Maria Correa. Welcome. Um, let me see who else is new. Welcome, Erika Barca. Welcome, everyone. Okay. So welcome, welcome, everyone. Okay. So how was your day? Today was good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why? I have a good a, a, a good um, client meeting, so it's what's good. Okay, good. It's good to know that. Who else? I was tired, teacher. Why? What do you do? Because I I was uh, waking wake wake very early and to go to the airport so early. Oh, how far? Yeah. How far is the airport from Santa Ana? How far it is? Uh, with traffic or? Like regular, traffic, on a regular basis. With traffic, two hours, half. Two hours? Half That's nothing. Driving. That's nothing. Yeah, from it's here, from, from Morazan, it's like four hours. Four hours. Yeah. Oh, see? That's nothing. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, especially like, and I mean, if you are taking um, taking off at let's say at six in the morning, yeah, okay. you gotta leave from here around one o'clock uh, and and in the morning. So to yeah. get over there around three or four, because you need to be uh, at least two hour before you taking off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess we're gonna have only eleven students. Um, the other ones are on vacation. No, no, it's not true. Uh, the other ones, no, no, no. Uh, the other ones, uh, they asked for permission because they were sick or they were taking care of their families. But the good thing is that you are here and that's what it matters. Okay. So, okay. So let me share my screen about the topic that we are going to be working on today. All right. So this is the topic. Uh, today we're going to be talking about houses versus apartment. Okay, so we're going to be uh, discussing and, and debating which one is better, houses or apartments. So maybe you can say, oh, I think a house is better because, because it's, it has more space or what. Um, I don't know, um, because I can have a pet. Oh, maybe you more can privacy, say, oh, privacy. oh may, yeah, maybe you can say, oh, a house is better because it has a lot of privacy. Okay. Or oh, maybe somebody, somebody, somebody else can say, no, 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 no. I think apartments are better because you can have a party without people being complaining. <laughs> okay, maybe. All right. So this is the agenda that I have for today's lesson. Uh, we're going to do working on playing a game, which is a warm-up activity about two truths and one lie. Have you ever played a game? Yes. Okay, if yes. Not, okay, good. Then we're going to be discussing house versus apartment. And then we are going to be working on some uh, grammatical points that is going to help you to compare. Okay. What is the main objective uh, for today's lesson? Uh, by the end of the class, a student will practice using adjectives and nouns to express comparisons in English. In this lesson, Practice comparing houses and apartments to express similarities and differences, okay? All right, so what did we learn yesterday? Let's review that. What did we learn yesterday? Mm -hmm. Anyone? Describe Inside. our houses. Mm -hmm. Learn, describe our houses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
What else? Using adjectives. Adjectives. Adjectives, adjectives. or describe um, the house, the oh, houses, or an yes. apartment. Yes, adjectives to describe a house and an apartment. Welcome, Eneida. Welcome, welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, what else? What else did we practice yesterday? What else? Let me give you a clue. Let me give you a clue. About. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Here is a clue. Okay. Check, check out the yeah. screen. Mm -hmm. Quantifier. Quantifiers? Did we practice quantifiers yesterday? Mm -hmm. No, we we oh. no, yes, we end. used that, but we used uh those type of um I don't know how to say quantifiers, yeah. Compliments. Compliments. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also mm -hmm. we worked on on the two Playing. words. Two and enough. Yeah, that's oh yeah, we play uh, the category game, the category game. All right, okay, good. All right, so let's work on um, the warm up activity. Okay, that is uh, write three sentences about you. Two are going to be true and one is going to be false. Okay, these are my sentences. Okay, check, check them out, check them out. I have visited five countries. I go running before I go to work. And the last one, I have practiced skydiving before. All right? So uh, I would like you to type, not type, but write down your sentences. And then we are going to go to the small breakout rooms and we are going to share your sentences with your classmates, okay? So maybe later you can tell me which one you think is false about me, mm -hmm. okay? About me. Mm -hmm. So maybe later you can think, oh, I think number one is false. No, 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 I think number two <laughs> or I think number three, okay? Right now, write down your sentences, three sentences. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wilmer, okay, Wilmer. Wilmer says the number three, it's false about me. Me we'll too. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Be a believer, please, be a believer. Okay, uh, are you done with your um, your sentences? Hmm? Yes. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Let me let me confirm, Carlos. Carlos. Hello, Carlos Jose. Hi. Yes. Okay. Okay, are you, do you finish your sentences? Right. Okay, thank you. Brian, Brian, do you finish your sentences? Yes, I get it. Okay, thank you, Brian. Uh, let me see, Alejandro Ernesto, do you finish your sentences or do you are just joining us? No, I collected a teacher. Ah, okay, 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 no worries. Marta Menjibar, Marta? Do you finish your sentences? Yes, teacher. Okay, by the way, Alejandro, we are writing three sentences, okay? Two sentences yeah. that are true and one sentence that is false about you. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing right now, writing sentences. It doesn't matter the tense, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay, uh, sorry? It doesn't matter the tense in, in the perfect tense or what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Ah, okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. Um, I guess everyone has completed that part. Okay. 
Can you guess mine? Can you guess which one is the false? Y number voy a, three. Number three. Uh -huh. Who else says number three? Oh, no, yeah, number three. Mm -hmm. Who else? Who else says number three or number one or number two? Me too. I agree the with third, her. The, the third is false. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, let's watch oh, a YouTube two. video right now. Let's watch a, a, a video right now about number three. Do you want to watch it? Yeah. No, no. So number three is true. <gasps> yes. Do you, you, I, wow. did no, I did it. You did it here uh, in El Salvador? No, me? no. I saw so dangerous t shirt. Life uh, is good. Life is YOLO, you know? YOLO. You, you only live you, once. You like adrenaline. I'm a, I like adventure, so yes. Mm -hmm. So I And didn't teacher, do did you do, did that here in El Salvador? No, no, I didn't do it here. I did it in the, in the US. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think you can do that here in El Salvador. Yeah, I, I think you can't. Okay, so number two, I go running before I go to work. Uh huh. I think that that's true. true. That's true. Yeah. Yes. But you, because you mentioned one day. Yes. So that is true. That. Okay. So the false is I have visited five countries. That's false. Okay. Good. Um. Now we're gonna go to the small breakout rooms. Y ustedes van a compartir sus oraciones con sus compañeros. Okay. All right. And your classmates are going to guess the sentences. I can see, let me see, I guess it's Wilmer. Wilmer uh, sends us the, the, the three sentences here in the chat, but that's okay, Wilmer. Maybe later we can go over and review the ones that are not true or the ones that, that are true. All right, uh, breaker rooms. Let me see, it has 16 people. Okay, let me see, create. Okay, that's fine. If you if you want um who want to want to start with a sentence you okay <laughs> I'm going so my first sentence is I used to go to the gym at 4 a.m. that is my first sentence the second one is I have never visited the um, United States And the third one is I used to do bouldering. Bouldering is like a climbing rock, but in a wall made for that. So what did you think that is false? The last one. What about you, Reina? What do you think that is false for me? Um, I, I visited country Guatemala. Bob, uh, do, you see, do you think that the one that I said, I have never visited you say the United States is, is the false? No. So for me, uh, I know I'm, I'm going to say that the, the truth, the truth is that I used to go to the gym at 4 a.m. and I used to do bouldering. I have, right. and the truth, and the thing is that I have never visited the United States. Uh, driving yeah. around 6 30, uh, there is too much traffic yeah. everybody goes yeah. like uh, at work. 
The third, the third. The three is a uh, light. I like what? The bitch. I guess that the false is that you go to the beach every day. I think so. Yeah. I don't <laughs> Yeah, it's coming. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, well, I have to say, I Uh huh. Pero este no va, no, no le va a poner el true, no va a ir en, en la de oración, sino que vaya, por ejemplo, un, mi, mi ejemplo en, en true es I have clean timber de San Miguel Volcano, es true. Y también tengo otra true. Pero eh, y la false escribí I have six children. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Yes, um... Uh, what was your question, Alejandro? Uh -huh. eh, no, lo que pasa es que ya, ya eh, me perdí Pero, el hilo. ¿Cómo lleva usted la clase, Ticha? Perdón. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, tenía que escribir tres oraciones. Dos falsas, digo, una falsa y dos verdaderas. Solo que usted ah. sabe cuáles eran las falsas y cuáles eran las verdaderas. Entonces, la idea era que usted las iba a leer y uh -huh. María iba a adivinar cuál era la oración que era falsa. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Eso es Ajá. que lo había atendido muy bien. Oh, ok, ok, ok. okay. Good. How are you, Eneida? Hello, hello, Eneida. Okay, so I hope uh, you had a great time talking and discussing and sharing uh, your sentences with your classmates. Uh, I hope um, you had a great time talking to them and getting to know more about them. <laughs> okay, let's wait for uh, the rest of the class to join the main room and we will um, talk about uh, what you discovered about your classmates. Mm -hmm. Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so we will wait. Um, your classmates are going to join us in a moment. Okay, good. Okay, uh, let me ask you everyone, let me ask you, um, what do you learn about your classmates? What do you learn about your classmates? Mm -hmm. It's too difficult to have children nowadays, but it's more difficult to have four cats and two dogs. Who has uh, <laughs> four dogs? <laughs> four cats, cats and two dogs. Who, it's who, more yeah. difficult. <laughs> who, 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 who has that a lot of animals? I don't know. You, in know, you know who I am, am I in the chat. Oh, uh, is that you? You know who I was in the chat. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. What else did you discover about your classmates? Mm -hmm. I discovered that Reina lives in Ciudad de Delgado. Mm, okay. Okay. Good. And that she also plays soccer. <clears throat> really, Reina? <laughs> oh, my God. Do you play soccer, Reina? <laughs> <laughs> she used to play soccer. She used to oh, play soccer. She used to. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Who else? <laughs> Who else wants to uh, share um, about your classmates? Mm -hmm. And Cristobal. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Continue. Go ahead. No, and Cristobal have a motorcycle. 
Yeah. I have three motorcycles. That's true or false? False. <laughs> Correct. Che, you are mute. I don't like the motorcycle. Okay, definitely. <laughs> you only have one, Wilmer. Only one motorcycle. No more. No. Okay, who else? Who <laughs> else? Is very dangerous. What it's is it, Ada? Ada? What do you say, Ada? The motorcycle is a little bit dangerous. I agree yeah, with you. I agree with you. Okay, uh, because of the time, we need to move on uh, with the topic. Okay, thank you for sharing your um, sentences. Okay, let's move on. Um, okay, so what we're going to do right now is uh, I would like you to think about which one is better, a house or an apartment, and why? Okay, house. think about, okay, house, think about it. Teacher. Okay, think I about it. I think that it's better. Okay, think about it, and then, and then you are going to tell me. For example, for example, I think, in my case, I think a house <laughs> is better because blah, 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 okay? Or you can tell me, I think an apartment is better because of blah, 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 okay? Okay, so let's let's uh, think about it. Think about one reason why you think um, you think either the house or the apartment is better. Okay? Think about it. Teacher, I think uh, apartment is better in the point of view because um, in my case, I like stay alone. I don't know. I, I like to meditate, heritate a, a lot. Yeah. Okay. That's a good point, Walter. Walter <laughs> thinks that an apartment is better because he enjoys being alone. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Anyone else? Piensen bien. Well, in, my, okay, in, piensen. My, in my case, in my case, if we are talking about this picture, I prefer the house. Well, <laughs> no. It's bigger, okay. Not really, not really uh, about okay. this picture. I'm just giving you the idea of a house and an apartment, okay? Not these pictures. In general, I'm talking about in general. Uh, a house better Why? than an apartment. Why? Because you can, you can have a badger and the badger you can have your dog or plants, flowers, fruits. Etc. Okay. So an apartment, an apartment is, is, I don't know. Sometimes, someday you wake up in the morning, and you think, eh, I need more space. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, Wilmer. Next. Next. The house is sure. here. Teacher. Yes. 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 Anita. The house is better than the apartment because in the house, the house is warm and family. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Neida. Next. Okay. Teacher, teacher. Yes. yes. Teacher, of my, of my point of view, mm -hmm. um, the house is a better place in order to live because you can choose if you want to have bigger or, you can want, or, if, or if you want a small. But okay. if you want to live alone, my apartment is the best option. Thank you. Thank you, Cristobal. Thank you so much. Next. I didn't think about it at, uh, at first, but I hear a recording that, and it makes sense that the apartment seems to be more secure than a house. Mm. And personal, I will feel more security in, a, in an apartment that Living alone, I mean, living alone, that live alone in a house. Oh, so you will feel more um, kind of uh, feeling like a sense of security 
in yeah. living in a, living in living an in apartment, apartment than living in a house. Okay, okay. So in other words, you will feel safer, safer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Thank you. Next. Yes, yes. Sure. Yes. Um, Go ahead, Reina. Mm -hmm. I live. Um, they have four cats and two dogs. I, I would in, prefer the house. house. Yeah. Um, okay, Reina. Mm -hmm. Apartment apartment a small for family. Mm -hmm. Um apartment. <clears throat> apartment. Uh, okay, is, okay. Um your me. Um ¿Cómo se dice? Tengo mascotas. Oh, you have pets. I have pets. Mm -hmm. I have pets. Uh -huh. How many um, pets do you have, Reina? How many pets? Um, I have, and then you tell me the number. Mm -hmm. Nine cats. Nine cats. Nine cats? Yes. Really? Uh, five meow, dogs. meow, meow, everywhere. What? <laughs> five ducks. Wow. I you like have them. a zoo. Okay. I am uh, <laughs> Okay, Reina. Reina, I have a question, Reina. Where do you It's a live? good person, Reina. Do you live in a house or do you live in an, an apartment? Um, in a house. Okay, okay. Okay, good, good. Oh, Cristobal Eduardo says that he has four yeah. people. You have a zoo. You only need the monkeys. <laughs> okay, four people. I have only one people. I have one people. Mm -hmm. And his name is Cooper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, who else? Who else? Come on, tell me. I want to hear everyone. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think that a house is a better because you you have more space, you can plant a lot of plants, and you have your own parking, and the, the privacy is better, and also you can have a lot of pets. Good, that's good. That's a good example. Uh -huh. Who else? Not Who else? Mm -hmm. Me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, in my opinion, I live with my family, and I think the house is more spacious. And I never seen a uh, apartment, and I have not an opinion about this. Okay. Okay. That's a good one. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Me Who teacher. else? Yes. 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 A uh, house is harder to clean than a apartment. Okay, it's cleaner than an apartment. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Joanna. Okay, anyone else? Oh, let me see. Let me see, I can see I have four cats also. Wow, Carlos, you have a lot of animals. <laughs> okay, are you, are you, don't you live together? Do you live uh, like in the same house with Reina? Because Reina has a lot of animals and you too, Carlos. Okay, don't you live in the same house? No? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you. All right, so good. So now that we were like coming up with some ideas and some sentences, talking about some advantages and disadvantages of living in a house or living in an apartment, let's move on to the next one. This is very important that you know and you manage, for example, when you are comparing two things. As you know, right now we are comparing a house uh, versus what? And an apartment. All right. So when we are comparing two things, we can use adjectives. Okay. See, we can use adjectives to describe or to compare two things. For example, in this case, I can say, I can say, Houses aren't as convenient as convenient as apartments. Okay, look the other one. Houses are just as convenient as 
apartments. I have a question. How would you translate this? How would you translate as us? So how would it be then in Spanish? How would it be this sentence in Spanish? Las casas no son tan convenientes como los apartamentos. Exactly. Tan como. Houses are in tan convenient como apartments. Okay? Look the other one. Houses are just as convenient as apartments. Good. Later, we're going to talk about this one. Okay? Later, we're going to talk about this one. Look, this just, is... Just us is like... Uh, it's the same like us. Mm -hmm. Us. Mm -hmm. The same meaning. Tanto. 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 Okay, okay. Ah, okay. okay. Look at the, the structure. Subject, yes. verb to be, as, adjective, yes. as, now. Okay. Don't pay attention to this one right now. Okay? Okay. So look. My bathroom is, is, is as quiet as the living room. Okay? My bathroom is as quiet as the living room. Okay? So what I'm saying is que me, mi habitación o mi cuarto es tan, tan silencioso o tan tranquilo como la sala. I don't know if that's true in your, in your case, <laughs> but let's do this one. Cho let's choose one adjective. Es como un adjetivo de acá, de todo esto que tenemos aquí. Mm -hmm. One adjective, which one? Which one? Comfortable. Huh? Comfortable. Comfortable. Okay, let's stay comfortable. Defensive. Okay, let's stay comfortable. 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 All right. Comfortable. Comfortable. All right. Let me see. I gotta go right here. Okay. Give me a second. I'm working. Okay. Uh, let's suppose that we um, that we worked or we took what comfortable, right? Comfortable. So, can you help me to write a sentence saying the apartment following this part pattern or pattern? Mm -hmm. The apartment is what using comfortable. Mm -hmm. The apartment is yes. It's a small convenient. No, 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 no convenient. Comfortable. Okay, that was the uh, comfortable. Yes. Yeah, yeah, comfortable. Yeah. The, the apartment, apartment is, is comfortable. Comfortable. As comfortable as 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 the house. The bar room. <laughs> the house. <laughs> okay. As they have. The apartment, the is, apartment as, is as, is as comfortable as the house. Yeah, of course. I can get rid of comfortable. Okay, what about another one? Can we choose another another adjective? Mm -hmm. The apartment is, is, is as, as expensive. As expensive. No, is mm -hmm. as expensive as the house. That's it's true. As, That's it's true. As. The apartment is as expensive as the house. Good. More what expensive. about what about if I have if I had negative right here? Mm -hmm. It's going to be the, the apartment, apartment isn't isn't as modern or modern as the house. Yeah. Okay, just listen up. Right here. As Okay. Uh, can I get your attention? Can it's I get your debate. attention? Okay. Can I get your attention? Okay. If you see here, we are comparing two things, but we are not using more. We are not using more. Okay. Estamos bien okay. ahí. Estamos comparando dos objetos, pero no estoy, <coughs> no estoy utilizando what? No estoy utilizando uh, more. Estoy utilizando as as. As, as, ok. Estoy diciendo eh, tan, tan conveniente como, tan barato como, tan caro como, tan moderno como, tan privado como, tan as, as, ok. All right. 
Look here. The apartment isn't as modern as the house. Okay. Okay, good. What about my office? Can you help me with my office? My office. Mm -hmm. My office. Choose one adjective. Choose one adjective from here. One adjective. Noisy. Okay. My office. My office. My my office. Is. Is. Uh -huh, my office is. As. as private. Okay. Private. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. As. My office. As. As. As what? My house. As my living room. Okay. It could be my house, my living room. My what? My office is as private, es tan privado como mi casa, or as private as my living room, or my what? My bathroom. bathroom. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. What about, si aquí en vez de una, I have bought more than one. My offices. Mm -hmm. Are. Are. are yes. ¿Por qué estoy utilizando Just are? As. Porque tengo oh. más. Mm -hmm. My yeah. offices yeah. are. Are what? In the computer we have. Uh, mm -hmm. My offices are as. Noisy. Okay. As noisy. What else? As My offices are as noisy as what? As what? Can we use like as Michael House? Yeah, yeah. Is uh, that that one? Michael, right? Michael's. I don't know who Michael's house is, but yeah, my offices are as noisy as Michael's house, see? Okay, are we clear with that one? What about if we, if I have a negative, si lo tuviera negativo? My offices aren't, my offices aren't what? Hello, hello. It's spacious. Okay. Okay, my are offices it, adding as aren't as spacious, spacious as, as as what as my kitchen <laughs> my kitchen <laughs> okay okay be careful with that one no I'm gonna see my chicken okay my chicken <laughs> no 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 okay don't say my chicken room. My, it's my kitchen, chicken. <laughs> okay, good. All right. My nice. little chicken. But, trabajemos en my bathroom now. My bathroom. Mm -hmm. My bathroom. Yes. Is. 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 Okay, that's a good one. My bathroom is as small as my bathroom. Okay, so looking at what I would like you to do right now is I would like you to type sentences in the chat. Okay, type sentences in the chat using what? Using, um, can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah, yes, okay. So, vieron lo que estuvimos haciendo aquí, ¿verdad? Con the apartment, my offices, my bathroom. So, what I would like you to do is now, by yourself, I would like you to do the same. Lo pueden hacer en un cuaderno o lo pueden typear right here in the chat. You can type it right there. Okay? So, I will give you three minutes and you can continue to create your sentences. And by the way, you can use other other adjectives. These ones are only some examples, but you can use all the adjectives. Okay? Is that clear? Yes. Good. Positive or negative? It's up to you. 
It can be positive, it okay. can be negative, okay. it's okay. up to you. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, okay, got it. Okay. I'm gonna be here. If you have any question, just let me know, okay? Hola. Bye. Sí, sí, dígale que sí. Okay, let me know when you finished. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see what you have in the chat. I can hear you, teacher. Okay, I'm sorry. There was a mistake. I mean, there was a problem here with my microphone, but now I'm back. Okay, coffee isn't as healthy as water. That's true. Water isn't <laughs> water isn't as delicious as Coca-Cola. I disagree. Computers are as util. How do you say util? In English, does anybody useful. know? How? Use, useful. 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 Good. Yeah. Useful. Okay. My classmates are as intelligent as UES students. Okay. My living room is as spacious as the backyard. The apartment is as quiet as the church. My dog is as big as my table. All right. My garden is. A, okay. Good. Thank you so much. Okay, do you have any question about this? Any question? Mm -hmm. okay. I really feel mm -hmm. like, I mean, I don't feel comfortable using that type of construction. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. 
Oh, it is it's not usual, right? I mean, is, you don't use that so much. Yeah, um, especially if you are evaluating and comparing, you can use this structure. And of course, we are more used to, um, to express simple sentences when we are speaking. You know, we always look for the, the easier or the easiest vocabulary or the easiest mm -hmm. structure. That's why we say, we don't say my bathroom is as quiet as yours. We say, you know what? My bathroom is quieter. It's better. Oh, it's better oh, than uh -huh. yours. It's better than yours. Okay. So mm -hmm. we don't go, yeah. um, we don't go and explain like my apartment, you know, my house is, is, um, or your house, your house isn't as big as my house. We don't say that. Mm -hmm. Mostly we say my house is bigger than your bone. That's what we do. <laughs> That's yeah. what we do. Okay. But uh, uh, right now, the good thing is like, because uh, you are in an intermediate level, so you need to know how to express mm -hmm. different ways to express comparisons, especially right now, since we are talking about a house and an apartment. So now you had the tools to express the ideas in a more, I would say, uh, more, uh, let me see, I'm looking for, a, for, a, for an adjective, uh, more educated way, okay? <laughs> All right, good. Polite. Polite way, thank you, thank you, Abarca. <clears throat> I was looking for that word, but I didn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. Okay, what about now, let's forget about this, because we already talked about that, okay? Now, let's talk about also, um, we can compare uh, nouns, see, nouns, see, as you can see, okay, look at the examples, apartments have just as many rooms as houses, the other one, apartments don't have as much privacy as houses, Question, why am I using many and why am I using much? Why? Countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Good. Every time we have countable nouns, I'm going to use what? I'm going to use, I mean, every time I have countable nouns, I'm going to use many. And every time I have uncountable nouns, I'm going to use much. much, okay? Much, all right. So remember, many, countable, much, uncountable. All right, okay, good. Look at the example here. My bathroom doesn't have as many windows as the living room. And as Pamela was saying, I'm sorry, is, is Pamela your name? It's just Pame. No, it's Pamela. Okay, as Pamela was saying, we don't go using this long structure. We just go, you know what? My bathroom, uh, okay, the living room has more windows than my room. That's what we say. We don't go, my bathroom doesn't have as many windows as the living room, right? We don't go in that way. Okay, can you help me? Me pueden ayudar acá con, um, con the kitchen. Okay, the kitchen, using this structure, okay? The kitchen, the kitchen what? Look at this one, verb as many, countable noun, much, uh, non-countable noun. The kitchen. It's difficult. The kitchen. It could be has or it could be, yeah. yes. And the structure could be changed. Uh, Many, yeah, yeah, enough? yeah, yeah. Look, oh, look, okay, yeah, it could be any, could, uh, be, could, could be my my kitchen doesn't have as enough space space as the living room. Okay, enough space or space enough? Space enough. Sorry. Okay, 
But in this case, yeah, I can say that and it makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. But what about if I follow this structure just to see if we can, if we can use it, okay? Yeah, but that's a good example, okay. Walter. That's a good example, Walter. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. The kitchen has what? What follows? ¿Qué sigue después del verbo? ¿Qué sigue? As. 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 Mm -hmm. The kitchen many. has as many windows. Okay. Okay. The same example that I had before. Okay. <laughs> the kitchen has as many windows as as what? As the as the apartment. As the apartment. Okay. Okay. Any apartment. Okay. Good. What about my cousin's house? Mm -hmm. My cousin's house. Remember. My cousin's house. Mm -hmm. Has and or doesn't have? Has or doesn't have? We can have. use doesn't have doesn't have okay my cousin's house doesn't have doesn't have as uh -huh. okay what about it? okay what about much uh -huh. what about if i give you much my cousin's much. house doesn't have as much yard mm, what about if we go space okay as let's space. go with the space Okay. As my cousin's house doesn't have as much space as as what? As mine. Mm -hmm. Okay. As mine. Yeah, yeah. As mine. Okay. Carlos says my cousin's house. Grandmother's house. house. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. My grandmother's house. Um. Carlos says, my cousin's house have, and that case is has, has as much space in the backyard as mine. That's a good example. Okay, let me see. Cristobal says, the kitchen hasn't, hmm. Okay, Cristobal, en este caso, si usted está utilizando el has como el verbo, yo necesito tener el, el auxiliary verb doesn't. Okay? Entonces, su oración sería, the kitchen doesn't have as much space as the living room. Okay, Cristobal? Cristobal, are you there? Yes, thank you, teacher. Okay, okay, good. Thank you, thank you. All right. Okay, what about my neighbor's front yard? Mm -hmm. What about my neighbor's... Mm -hmm. My neighbors, uh, uh, my neighbors, my neighbors, my neighbors' front yard mm -hmm. doesn't, doesn't have as many flowers as the mine. Good. My neighbors' front yard doesn't have as many flowers as mine, or as my, or puede decir as my back. Uh, my front front yard front yard okay so since we did together this one okay ahora lo voy a dejar a que ustedes lo hagan solito okay okay voy a borrar esta oración and now i would like you to type in the chat only one sentence only one sentence ustedes eligen the kitchen voy a quitar my cousin house y voy a poner i'm gonna write down the the park let's suppose that you maybe you're talking about the liberty park and here it would be my house okay easier okay. okay okay so type one sentence in the chat using that y acuérdense lo que se deben utilizar es esto many and much depending on the noun you are using mm -hmm. Thank you. 
Usted tiene un micro. Que una tosecita. Usted. Ok, uh, you can start typing your sentences in the chat. Only one sentence. Only one sentence. Okay, I have three sentences. Brian says, my house doesn't have as many roses as my house. Wait, my house doesn't have as many roses as my house. It could be maybe my house doesn't have as many roses as yours. Okay, okay, Abarca says, my kitchen doesn't have as many appliances as my friend's kitchen, good. The park doesn't have as many trees as the forest, good, good example, Cristobal. Let me see, Pamela. Uh, the park is not as much. Mm -hmm. Okay, Pamela, if you see, mm -hmm. if you see right now here the comparison, when we use as much and as many is because we are using nouns. And big, big no, is, an a, is an adjective. Yes, it's an adjective. Okay, so maybe you yeah. can say the park is not as much or doesn't have. Oh, uh -huh. the the park, and that's the other thing, Pamela. If you see in your example, when we use the verb to be, is because we are going to use an adjective, but we don't use much because we are using adjective. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. All right, let me see another example. The park has as much fresh air as my backyard. That's a good one. Thank you, Carlos. Let me see, Carla. The park has as much space as my, my backyard. Backyard. Good. Let me see the other, the last ones. The kitchen. Joanna, kitchen. My kitchen doesn't have in a uh, space as oh, wait, wait, wait a second. My kitchen doesn't have as much space as the dining room, Joanna. Listen, I'm going to repeat it one more time. Ok, y para lo, por ejemplo, si ustedes ya terminaron sus oraciones, pueden ir revisando las que yo voy mencionando para que si ustedes ven, ah, there is a, something that, that it needs to be changed, we can change it together, okay? Look at the, the uh, Joanna sentences. My kitchen doesn't have as much space. Space is a noun. It's uncountable. That's why I'm using much. As much space as the dining room. The park, okay. Marta Menjibar, your sentence. The park, um, ok, en vez de is, podemos utilizar el verbo have, ok. The park has, in this case has, because it's it. The park has as many animals as the city, ok. Ok, Walter, the park front uh, of mine the front park. In this case, if you are talking a park that is in front, you can say the front park of mine, of my house, doesn't have as many trees, many trees as Central Park. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Let me see, Oscar. The park is just as convenient. Okay. Sí, la oración de Oscar está bien, solo de que ahorita estamos utilizando con con nouns, but that's all right, okay? Mm -hmm. That's all right. Okay, because of the time, uh, we are about to finish uh, today's sentence or today's class, and I hope um, we can have, a, we can continue with that next class, okay? Which means tomorrow, all right? So we were working with that. So let me stop uh, here. Okay, do you have any question? 
and because of time, um, I'm going to let you go. But if you have any question before I go, uh, now is the time. Mm -hmm. Any question? I think I have to practice that that structure because I'm not yeah. familiar with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as I said before, uh, it's not very uh, well. It is important to know it, but at the end, you decide whether you use it or not, or if you want to use the other one, which is simpler and easier and faster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, so if you don't have any question, thank you for showing up. Um, okay, Reina, my how it is. Okay, maybe we can come up with that sentence tomorrow, Reina. Let me know about that one and we can work on that one tomorrow, okay? So thank you, everyone. I will see you tomorrow. Have a great night. And be Take good. care, use your face mask. I will, I will do it. And, will do and it. wash your hands. Yeah. I will do it too. Yeah. Everyone, please, everyone. Bye-bye. 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 Okay, have a Bye, great good. have a great night and take Bye, care. Bye. 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 Bye.